Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm with Simplex. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at our small portable load bank line. These are the PowerStar 110. They're capable of 110 kilowatts, 240 or 480 load power. These are a digitally controlled load bank with our four inch HMI touch screen. You can daisy chain multiple load banks together for added load. What you do, come out of the controller, Port 1 on the load bank. You'd come out of port 2 to port 1 on your next load bank, out of port 2 and into 1 of the next, so on and so forth. Currently I have three of them hooked up. You can see on the HMI that I have 330 kilowatts available. Now let's take a look at the HMI operation of the load bank itself. Once our load bank is powered up, we need to enter in a few settings. We're going to hit F5, Shift. We're going to first go to AJG, F2. Now up here we have a minimum kilowatts, maximum kilowatts, number of steps, and our interval in seconds. Now I've already gone ahead and I've entered in 160 kilowatts for my minimum, 200 for my maximum, with a five steps in between that range, and 10 seconds for my interval. From here, we have a metering screen, F4. This will display our voltage phase to phase, our current on each phase, our total power, and frequency. Let's go back, let's hit shift again, set. We're going to enter in uh, our jog value. I like to do five kilowatts, just because that's the lowest step resolution of this load bank. We're going to enter in our cooldown time. I would recommend doing no less than 30 seconds. That should give our resistors sufficient time to cool off. We have an auto jog switch here. When this is on, this will help maintain an even load on your source. We have our kilowatt hours. This is coming off our meter. We have F1 here, MAN. This is our manual load screen. This will give us the ability to turn on each load step individually. Let's go back, back. This is our main screen. We have a switch up here for control power, a switch for master load. We can see this load bank is configured for 480 volts, three phase. I have three power starts connected together, giving me 330 kilowatts. I'm currently running zero kilowatts. I have 160 entered into my numeric value right now and I am metering zero kilowatts. From here we can see that I'm in normal operation. We are our air screen, F1. This is going to show the statuses of our load bank. Our cooling fans are okay, exhaust temps okay, metering systems okay and our load is okay. If we have a failure on this load bank or any of our other load banks, it will display on this screen. Let's go back. From here we see uh, F2 and F3 are our jog buttons. F2 is going to add a 5 kilowatts to our applied load. F3 is going to subtract 5 kilowatts from our applied load. Let's go ahead and power up these load banks. We can hear our fans are winding up. Once our fans are started up, we can turn on our master load. Now, you heard the contactors close. It applied my 160 kilowatts that I had entered in. We can enter in any numeric value from zero to 330 kilowatts with a five step resolution. So I'm going to go to 200 kilowatts. Enter. Let's go back. We see that we have 330 kilowatts available through the three load banks. I'm currently running 200 kilowatts and I entered in 200 kilowatts. Now I don't currently have a source hooked up, so our meter is reading zero. From here we can apply 
5 kilowatts by hitting jog up, 205, 210, and we can subtract 5 by hitting jog down. Our master load will apply and remove all of our entered load. And there we have, running zero, we can reapply it, back to 200 kilowatts, Turn our control fan off. This is our cool down screen. Now remember we set this up for 30 seconds. It gives us the option to override that by pressing the screen. And your load bank shut down. And there we have it. Full operation of our Simplex Power Star load bank. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this.